I hit my one year anniversary yesterday of being entirely private practice. Did you get nervous when you went into private practice for yourself? Yes, but uh, it's largely because I started in private practice and failed. Um, I did private practice for almost a year before I went to one of the chains in the area because I wasn't making any money. Yeah. Um, couldn't support myself and my spouse and all of all of that good stuff. I wasn't I wasn't prepared. Uh, and so I did the the chain spa life for a while until they didn't like me very much anymore. So <laughs> the spa didn't. I also um have too many opinions and ask too many questions. So yeah, perfect. <laughs> so you're I a perfect left. student. <laughs> <laughs> like she's causing problems for people i'm like yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's that was my whole thing they liked it a lot when they um perceived me as being on their team and the minute that i started questioning the way that things were done and asking questions about how to make things better they did not like that very much and that did not sit well with me and so i left yeah that, that that thing, I thought I was just a troublemaker, <laughs> um, but I didn't have the word for entrepreneur. Once I really worked for myself, I was like, oh, dude, like that's almost like a psychological set. Like entrepreneurs, that's what we do. Even when we work for somebody yeah. else, we're like, well, we could, we could make it better. Mm -hmm. We could just change it just a little bit. And they're like, you do what we tell you to do. <laughs> I got I fired from a lot of jobs. <laughs> I got fired from a lot of jobs and not once did a boss pull me aside and be like, you should be an entrepreneur. <laughs> I had, like, um, Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No, my boss was very surprised that I um, chose to work there and work there as long as I did. I worked there three years. Uh, I was their lead massage therapist the whole time. Uh, the vast majority of the time. And um, he was always very surprised. I think, uh, and the owner of one of the other uh, big massage places in uh, town always, he saw me as a client, always told me that, uh, you know, he was very shocked that I worked for someone else and he was just waiting for me to go do my own thing. How are you doing the bulk of your promotion to be able to get clients, new clients? Um, largely through one specific of my like local facebook group it's huge <laughs> and uh they do like small business posts or whatever um but probably 50 percent that and 50 percent the clients that i already have telling everyone else how wonderful i am it's a little bit 50 50 word of mouth and social media How active are people on social media generally, like in your area? Because I find it's different in various parts of the country. Um, I would say pretty active. Um, there's not a whole lot to do here. So uh, I think social media helps keep people occupied and in, in touch with other people, even though I don't really actually totally believe that. But. Yeah. Have you tried any um, ads on social media, like Facebook ads or Instagram? I have Facebook ads and Google ads, and I found that they were mostly useless for me personally. Hmm. Which, so in, in other uh, words, how, how, much, how much money did you spend? And then did you get any clients from it at all? Um, I probably spent, I don't know. Probably top end, maybe a max of five hundred dollars. Not a whole lot. Not Is that a whole for lot like a month in. or? I don't know. In the early in the early stages, probably the first maybe couple of months. Um, and I've got I don't know maybe three to four clients out of it. I don't know that. Did it pay for itself? I really don't know. Hmm. I know that's not a good answer. Yeah, the, the platforms have changed over time, and I wonder about this because I could help students more if I could figure out a fairly consistent way to help them advertise their practices to like draw people in via video. 
When you ran right. the ad, was it just like a graphic or was it a video? It was just a graphic. No, it was just a graphic. I have found that, um, and I don't do this as much as I should, and I'm very super aware of that. But uh, people are very interactive with like Facebook Live, and, like that kind of format, uh, which is why TikTok does so well because it's all that format. Uh, I'm not on TikTok. I arguably should be, but I'm not currently, and that's okay. I just branched out to Instagram like two months ago. <laughs> yeah. Behind the times. Yeah. If if you continue practicing uh, what I'm teaching, and I know you just joined, um because the work is closed on you can film and photo document more right i encourage students to just grab a client put the phone on a tripod press facebook live with the client's consent they can sign a little av waiver, a waiver. Uh, it's yeah. attached in the documents inside the group if you need access to it just let me know i can email you a copy but it just allows you to use their stuff in your social media or whatever Perfect. But you just talk to the camera just like you're talking to me. Hey, guys, I just want you to show. I'm going to work on Colleen here and work on her shoulder. And you just, yeah. you'd be surprised if you did that regularly. How much it, it helps. Well, the irony in that is I have clients that volunteer to do that for me. And they're like, you can totally use like whatever information. And, and I do like nude table based like massage like yeah. tr traditional massage like they're just like yeah no like your draping is good like whatever use my likeness like i don't care and i don't it's a problem with me it's not a problem with them even or oh i mean i would i would whatever, say that you know unequivocally across the board is therapists are very afraid of uh making video oh yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely and, and usually i tell them it's they're afraid of people's judgment me, mm -hmm. what I did was I just assumed nobody liked me anyway. So <laughs> let's just make a video and like see if any clients came in. And when clients came in, I went, oh, let's do oh. that again. And then they're like, we don't like you. And I'm like, but well, clients came in. <laughs> like this the way I'm like disliked and I'm not broke. <laughs> Fair. 